Okay, Thor, Hammer of the Gods. Stars Zachary Ty Bryan. If you remember him, he was the oldest kid from Home Improvement. As the title character, Thor. And essentially, he is on a quest to regain Mjolnir. This time, it's not a small handheld war hammer. Instead, it looks more kind of like a boat oar with a giant cinder block attached to it. So, who actually has taken this? Well, it's kind of been taken by an army of wolf people. Now, this being a sci-fi original movie, ironically, they do a pretty good job on the practical effects, as well as some of the costumes. The choreography, I can't tell if multiple people worked on or not. Sometimes you see really good fight choreography, then other times, it's just horrible. Even if you play it at two times speed, it's still just really slow. The acting is about as good as what you expect from a sci-fi movie. You know, every time I hear Zachary Ty Bryan while trying to talk like Thor, I just picture Tim Allen in the background going, uh? It just doesn't really make that much sense because he doesn't seem to emote and have the overall physical presence you'd expect Thor to have. I'm still confused as to why the sci-fi movies that take place in medieval times or have more of a a fantasy feel to them actually are done better than the ones that actually are more science fiction in nature. And you know, when they show the, the practical effects for the wolves, the wolf people, it looks pretty good. When they show them in CGI, it looks absolutely horrible. And the end battle is relatively anticlimactic, and of course you can kind of guess he does get his hammer back. All in all, not bad. Much better than the other Thor movie they did with Richard Grieco as Loki and Kevin Nash as Odin.